Tell us what Intelligent Energy is doing here at Expo 22. Great, thank you. Um, so in Intelligent Energy is a manufacturer of hydrogen fuel cells. Typically fuel cells for UEVs is what we have on our stand today. It's at the IE SOAR product line. So typically what this does is it extends the flight times of UEVs by three to five times over state-of-the-art LiPo batteries, among other benefits like long lifespan, zero maintenance, and zero emissions at uh, point of use. How is the hydrogen utilized? What, what form does it take? So the hydrogen is stored in this cylinder at high pressure, uh, 300 bar, 4500 PSI. So it's gaseous? Gaseous, yeah, but we are agnostic to the fuel source. We do have customers flying in uh, liquid hydrogen, and that's another 10 times the flight time over batteries. Where do you see this kind of technology being best utilized? So currently today, we're selling our fuel cell products to UEV manufacturers and those end customers are using the long endurance hydrogen fuel cell powered UEVs for long linear asset inspection work. So a couple of main examples are transmission lines and pipelines in the US. Our customers are obtaining BV loss waivers to fly fuel cell drones, just like the one you see in the stand here, to do those long inspection routes uh, up to 100 miles a day. The commercial traction is never been higher, particularly parcel delivery in the civilian market is to carry those packages for longer distances is a key requirement of the industry. So that is receiving a huge amount of growth for us. What is the efficiency being gained here through this technology? How and why is a hydrogen fuel cell so much more efficient for these kind of programs? So over batteries, the key answer here is if you have a package delivery company setting up its distribution centers to pick up packages and carry them longer distances. The higher efficiency is that you, you have less distribution centers over a certain area when flying on fuel cell. On top of that, the fuel cell, the cylinder is quickly recharged. The hydrogen is filled into the cylinder after a few minutes compared to batteries that can at least half an hour to recharge those batteries. What about handling requirements for folks that are in the process of maintaining, refueling, and so forth? What does the consumer or the drone builder need to know to be able to utilize this technology with some sense of assurance? We spent the last three years working on making our systems to be as simple to use as possible, as plug and play as possible, and for lack of a better term, idiot proof. If any operator were to not pay attention for any period of time. There's always a safety mechanism in place to stop the hydrogen overfilling or uh, for a connector to be loose. So no hydrogen will be leaked that is in the danger zone. Jonathan, we appreciate your time. Uh, look forward to seeing what's happening and more important, let's catch up with you again at AUVSI in 23 at Denver and see what you guys have done since then. Absolutely, thank you very much, Jim. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com.